Oh, hi, Mr. Henderson. Oh, hey, wow. young whippersnappers. What are, what, what are you up to today? We're playing some basketball. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Who's You're losing winning? Terribly. See me. You're losing. You right You're losing. No. No. You all have room for one more? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I used to play basketball back in the day. Well, that was you, back in like the day. 78. Though. What are you saying? You're, I don't want you to get hurt. Man. All right. I tell you what. Why don't we play a quick game, 1v1, me, Mr. Henderson, versus you, Mr. Gavin. Sure about this? Sounds like a fair thing. I could probably lose. Oh, so. yeah. 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 Let's put your money where your mouth is. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Are you sure you want me to get the ball first? Just check it up. Okay, man. With the dips. Good morning and hey. welcome to Junior Church. Hey, hey, hey. hey Gavin, hey. you're a little bit late, man. You look a little, a little bummed out. What's wrong? Nothing. You didn't tell. Brother Matt didn't tell. No, Brother Matt didn't tell me. Did something happen? Oh. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Brother, do you want to tell him? Oh. Do you want to tell him or do you want me to tell him? Nobody tell him. Oh, tell him. Mr. Henderson. Oh, Mr. Henderson. Mr. Henderson. Mr. Henderson. Mr. Henderson. The little old man, Mr. Henderson. Yeah. Mr. He's a little young man now. Oh, yeah. is he? 77 years young. 77 years young. They yes. were playing basketball. Mr. Henderson was playing basketball? Not only did Mr. Henderson play basketball, but he dunked on Gavin. No way. He little, stepped little, little. on his face and he dunked on him. Oh my, I would look bummed out too. At least it wasn't a little old lady. Then he would have been scared and dunked on. <laughs> you remember last week? I was an idiot. Yeah, he'd have been running around again like last week. Anyway, you know what, but Mr. Henderson, that's pretty impressive. He kind of reminds me of somebody though. Caleb. Caleb Bear? No. Caleb Myers? Myers? No. Neither of those are little old men. Caleb, you know, from the Bible. John oh, Caleb, yeah, okay, okay. He was 80 years old and he came to Caleb because God had made him a promise and he's like, Give me that mountain. Yeah. And Caleb, him, pick up. Well, you said, You know what? I can go with it. Anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yes, I'm going to teach about that. Yeah. About that but, man, that's an awesome story. Not, not that you get done. That's a funny story. That's but the fact that Caleb, at 80 years old, took an army. And got a mountain, just defeated some Canaanites. That's pretty awesome. George. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that here in just a little while. But before Gavin gets embarrassed again by any more little old men, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and start junior church right, right now. now. All righty, it's time for song time. Brother Jonathan is not here, obviously, so it's going to be myself and Brother Gavin here who will be playing guitar. And our first song is going to be Jesus Loves Me. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, good job. Now, on to our second song, the B I B L B. B I B L E, not B I B L B. B I B L E. B I B L E, yes. Yes, that's the, yes, that's the book for me. Ready? Yes. All right. The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B I B L E. Bible. Bible. You have a shelf Bible. Bible. Shelf Bible. Bible. Good job. All right. Good job, guys. We'll see you later. If you have your Bibles today, let's open them up to the book of Joshua, chapter number 14. 
Joshua chapter number 14. Today, we're going to talk about, nope, not Joshua. We're going to talk about a man named Caleb. That's right. Caleb was a friend of Joshua's. In fact, they, they served together. Let's look at Joshua chapter 14 and verse number 10. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain, wherefore the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so, be the Lord, if so, be the Lord will be with me. Then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. Our story today really begins 45 years earlier than the portion of Scripture that we just read. You see, 45 years before this, remember the children of Israel were wandering in the wilderness and in search of the promised land. And they had found the promised land, and they had sent out 12 spies to spy out the promised land, the land of Canaan, the land that would one day be called Israel, okay? And they had sent out 12 spies, just 12 tribes, so one spy per tribe. Think about that. And when they had began to spy and started the secret mission, Caleb and Joshua were two of these spies. And they went into the land of Canaan and they saw milk and honey flowing. They saw giant grapes. They saw much good food and rivers and waters and very good land. And they were excited about that. However, there were 10 other spies that they saw some other things too. They saw some giants, big, strong giants that were ruling the land. They saw giant fenced cities and walled cities. And, and the 10 spies gave a bad report when they got back to the children of Israel. They said, this land is surrounded by giants and very powerful people. And in fact, the Bible says, that these 10 spies says, we are as grasshoppers in their sight. We are tiny. There's no way we can move in and conquer this land. Well, Caleb and Joshua, they believed. They said, no, with God's help, we can do anything. God's strength is all that we need. God's help is all that we need. And they were ready to go. They were ready to go in and take back the promised land that the Lord had promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they were, they were ready to go. But most of the country, most of the nation of Israel, they listened to the ten scared spies. And this is why they had to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Moses made a promise that day to Caleb. He says, look, because you wholeheartedly believed in the Lord, and you wholeheartedly, you wholly believed that God was able to bring you victory, I promise you, you will have this land of Hebron. You will have this land. You see, there was a nice spot up in the mountains and the hills that Caleb really liked. It was in the land of Hebron. And because they weren't conquering that land, they, they were too scared. They had to go back to the wilderness for 40 years. But God promised that Joshua and Caleb that, that they wouldn't make it, that they would survive for the next 40 years, and that one day they too would see the promised land once again. So 
They went out to the wilderness with everybody else, the whole nation of Israel, the whole nation of Israel, wandering and wandering and wandering. Forty years later, they finally begin the conquest. Well, 45, according to this, this passage here, where Caleb is talking to the new leader of Israel, who is now Joshua. Remember, Joshua and Caleb were the two good spies, right? They're the ones that gave a good report. They're the two spies that believed in God, that knew that God was able to give them victory. Well, now they're back here at the promised land, that 45 years later here in this passage, and they still have faith in God. Joshua is now the new leader. He's large and in charge of the whole nation of Israel with the help of God. And Caleb says to Joshua, he says, Joshua, remember the promise Moses made to me that I'd be able to have this land of Hebron? Do you remember that? Joshua says, of course I do. I remember, I remember. Joshua kept to that word. And Caleb was ready to fight for that land of Hebron once again. Now, in the land of Hebron, there were some big fellas. There were a particular, or specifically, there were three sons, giants, that were ruling in these lands, many fortified cities. And some of these giants lived in the Hebron area where Caleb wanted to, wanted to live, the area he wanted to inherit. And Caleb, now an 85-year-old man, says, Joshua, I am just as strong now as an 85-year-old man as I was when I was 40. So I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to claim this mountain that God has prepared for me. Woo! 85 years old. He's talking pretty big and bad for being 85. But he had faith in God. And he knew that his strength was not his own. And Joshua says, go for it. Go for it. And through the power of God, Caleb and his men were able to conquer the mountains of Hebron. And they were able to reclaim these mountains that were inhabited by giants. By, but I mean, some of these people were said to be from 8 to 12 feet tall. That's huge. They were so strong. They had fortified cities. But God gave them the victory, even though, hang on, let me grab something. Even though Caleb was probably getting a little old, he knew, he knew that with God, all things are possible. He knew that truth. He knew that is truth. The truth of God's word was the same then as it was 40 years before that, when they were spying out the land. And his faith and his strength was in the almighty God was in the Lord. He trusted him, and because of his faith, because of his hope in God, he was given this land. He was given this new home. We see that God fulfilled the promise that he was told 45 years ago, and we see that God brought a great victory. Now, boys and girls, we got to know this, that when we look on the outside, we only see a few things about somebody. We make opinions and judgments about people just by the way they look. But here's what we know. That God sees the heart. God sees the inside of a person. And, and we, we must understand that God can use anybody. Old, young, doesn't matter who it is. With God's power and God's help, miracles can happen. Whether you're five years old at home or you're 85 like Caleb here, God can use you. God has a plan for you. He's got promises he wants to fulfill in your life. It may take a long time to see those promises fulfilled, but we must keep our faith. We must keep moving forward for God. We must keep pressing forward just like Caleb did. He said to Joshua, he says, I want that mountain. And God gave it to him. 
That's some serious faith. He understood that all the strength and all the hope that we can have in this world comes from the Lord. The victory was brought through the Lord. Our victory, boys and girls, is brought through the Lord. Our final and eternal victory, that is salvation from our sins, comes from the Lord and his son, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ gives us the victory over our sins. His blood shed on the cross washes away our sins. Nothing else can do that. And our faith in Jesus Christ can give us that victory. We, we can become that child of God and become a new creature in Christ. And we can have victories just like Caleb saw here in Joshua chapter 14. Now, once you are saved, once you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ, there will still be battles. There, can still, there will still be struggles. There will still be mountains and giants in the land and in your life. But we can take courage in knowing that God is with you, just like he was with Caleb. Congratulations to our winner. Thank Good you job. once again, as always, for sending in your answer. Again, that just lets us know uh, that people are watching and paying attention and uh, they're listening. Listening, that's always good. Whenever the Bible is being taught, close our mouth, mm -hmm. open our ears, mm -hmm. and that way we can listen. So, uh, thank you for that. It is now time for Question of the Week. Fellas! Question of the Week with what Brother Matt. Matt. That's me. That's you. Oh yeah, the question of the week to send in to the Junior Church text line at 717-739-6536 is this. What was the name of the mountain that Caleb inherited? What was the name of the mountain that Caleb inherited? Remember he had to go up and fight all the bad dudes? What was the name of that mountain? Again, send it in to 717-739-6536. Six five three six. There you go. Or, as always, if you're in junior church with us, you can fill out a paper. Please do. Turn it in. That way, it's another way. So we got two different ways you can get your name on the yeah. wheel mm -hmm. and get a prize. We like giving out prizes uh, every week. So yeah, it's good. Oh, you know what? I just about forgot about that. What? A special announcement. Woo! Special announcement this week. You may see some stuff about this coming up. What? But I BBS. Vacation Bible School yes. is all around the corner, and we're looking forward to that this year. Uh, you can start pre-registering right now. You go to VictoryChurchHanover.com. Brother Matt's going to put a link to that right down in the description. Yep. Right down there. Yep. Uh, so go down, look at the description. VictoryChurchHanover.com, and there's a BBS slide. Mm -hmm. You click on that slide, mm -hmm. and it will take you right to the registration page, or... Brother Matt's really nice. He'll throw in yeah. a link directly to the online registration. I'll do it. Either way, you'll be able to go there. And August 9th, right? August, August 9th. That is August 9th through the 13th Ooh. from 6 p.m. to 7.30 right here in Junior Church. Come, bring your friends. Again, we're going to give away prizes. Mm -hmm. We always do a special visitors, mm -hmm. just big low. If you bring visitors, we, we fill up this chest at the end of the week. The person with most visitors gets a big prize. All that kind of stuff. Oh, Brother Matt's getting something here. Here's the hint. So oh, here's theme. a hint. Our theme. theme. Our theme. Should we tell them? We can tell them. Is a mystery 
island. We're gonna go on an island and picture, uh, look for treasure, all that kind of stuff. So you'll want to be here. Well, yeah. that's all I got for today. Beautiful. Got something to show. Any uh, anybody else? Anything you want to say before we go? You want to play some basketball? Sure. Look, I got my ball right here. Gavin, you game? Well, I think Gavin's going to get a head start here, and uh, while, uh, while he's getting everything ready on the court, I guess we'll say goodbye, and we'll see you next Sunday. Hey up, guys. I'm game. I'm ready to play some ball.